17 News is your local election headquarters, and it is crunch time for recall candidates. Election night is now five days away, and one candidate spent today in Bakersfield. 17's Chris Burton covered Larry Elder's campaign event today and filed this report. Thank you, Jim. Bakersfield seems to be a favorite spot for Larry Elder. He returned today to a lively crowd of supporters at Jastrow Park. Seven days. That's how long it took Larry Elder to come back to Bakersfield. The Republican candidate for governor appeared last Thursday at the Superior Courthouse. And this afternoon, he spoke to a crowd of hundreds at Jastrow Park. We got a state to save, don't we? Elder got the crowd cheering, touching on some of the hottest issues in Kern County. Crime doesn't have a party. Homelessness doesn't have a party. The rise of the cost of living doesn't have a party. Poor forest management doesn't have a party. Why is he back in Bakersfield? Political consultant Kathy Abernathy points to a healthy voting block ahead of next Tuesday's recall election. We have a strong, strong vote here. We have strong conservatives. They vote for Republican conservatives running for office, so it's a strong area. Under the searing sun, elder supporters showed up to Jastrow Park in Make America Great Again hats and shirts. But Elder balked at being called a Trump Republican. Why don't you call me a Mitt Romney Republican or George W. Bush Republican or George Herbert Walker Bush Republican? But they call me a Trump Republican because they believe that Trump is a four-letter word here in California. Supporters like Jorge Martinez shy away from using the former president's name. I don't want to say the word just because it triggers people, but he was the best for our country to me. Familiar rhetoric was alive and well in the crowd. After Trump claimed on Tuesday that the recall election was, quote, probably rigged, Martinez had this to say on the prospects of the recall effort failing at the polls. I don't want to be one of them uh, QAnons, but I think it would be because of election fraud. Kern County Clerk Mary Bedard told 17 News there have been no instances of voter fraud in Kern during this election period. Elder characterized the recall effort as the result of a desire held by many, not just so-called Trump Republicans. As I said, just across the board, people want this man out. Elder will continue campaigning ahead of Election Day next Tuesday. The latest polling data from the Public Policy Institute of California suggests the recall is unlikely to succeed, although Elder leads all replacement candidates by a large margin. In studio, Chris Burton, 17 News.